Hi everyone, my name is SGN and welcome to Cantano's Connections. In this video, we're going to be doing a reaction of top 10 most dangerous places in the world. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have a video in mind, please um, write it down in the comment section below so that I can find the video and do more reactions. Um, let's get into the video. Typically, many of us probably think of dangerous parts of the world as having large numbers of venomous snakes or frequent tsunamis, but there are an array of factors that can make an area particularly dangerous. From terrorism to weather events and everything in between, today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most dangerous places in the world. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. Death Valley, California Right along the state border that separates California and Nevada in an area known as the Great Basin exists Death Valley. Death Valley is recognized as one of the hottest places in the world, and just how hot is it actually? Well, on July 10, 1913, the United Weather Bureau recorded a temperature of 56.7 degrees Celsius, or about 134 degrees Fahrenheit. To this day, the temperatures recorded in 1913 remains the highest ambient air temperature ever recorded at the surface of the Earth. Surprisingly, while the temperatures during the daytime is shockingly high, they can plummet overnight, reaching a low of negative 10 degrees Celsius. While negative 10 might not sound so cold, anyone unlucky enough to find themselves lost overnight will most likely be ill-prepared. So let's assume that the temperatures don't get you first, Death Valley is also prone to severe storms that can produce massive amounts of lightning and severe flooding. For instance, on October 18, 2015, almost the entire desert floor was enveloped in water after a torrential downpour. Not only does the erratic weather present challenges for wildlife, but the area is infamous for mysterious disappearances and hikers who have met grim ends in the harsh desert. Number 9. Fraser Island, Australia Fraser Island is the world's largest sand island, and at first glance it looks like a pure utopia of white sand and crystal clear waters. But instead, it is a concentration of everything that is Australia. That is death horrifying things. Probably bad creatures too. Located 250 kilometers from the capital city of Brisbane, Fraser Island is home to just 182 people and it's only about 123 kilometers wide and the creatures that live upon it have given it a reputation as one of the world's most dangerous islands. In addition to its stunning beaches, Fraser Island is also covered in an array of plant life including rainforest, eucalyptus woodland, mangrove forest, wallum and peat swamps, sand dunes and coastal heaths but it is what lives among the foliage that has led to the island's reputation. The island is home to 18 different varieties of snakes, six of which are considered highly dangerous, and one of which is the Eastern Brown Snake, also known as the second most venomous snake known to man. You can also find numerous deadly spiders and over 300 varieties of ants there. If the creepy crawlies weren't enough to keep you off the island, it was also home to the last known population of pure dingoes. Unfortunately, after they attacked and killed a young boy in April of 2001, a major effort was undertaken to eradicate them and to prevent them from eating on local trash cans. Unfortunately, this led to a population of around 200 dingoes who are malnourished and even more aggressive than previous generations. And if you happen to escape all the dangers that are directly on the island, the waters around it are no safer. The area is a haven for venomous jellyfish along with multiple types of sharks, including the Great White. Oh, and also on top of the Great White, there is also the Bull and Tiger Shark, which are potentially more deadly to humans because they are known man-eaters who like our flesh. Oh, and also just to top off this little uh, soiree of danger, the Saltwater Crocodile is here too, so... <laughs> oh, have fun. Number 8. Lake Neos Cameroon. This deep lake is positioned directly on the flank of an active volcano which presents a unique set of hazards. Located in northwest Cameroon, Lake Neos is one of only three known exploding lakes and it is easily the deadliest. Okay, so probably the question on everybody's mind, what is an exploding lake? This is where things get a bit scientific. Lake Neos is located directly on top of a pocket of magma which slowly leaks carbon dioxide into the water, changing the symbol H2O into carbonic acid. And then as it sits, this carbonic acid isn't horribly dangerous as long as you avoid the water. 
The bigger issue occurs when too much carbon dioxide builds up under said water. This is when the carbonic acid lake becomes a full-blown exploding lake. During what is known as limnic eruption, carbon dioxide bursts out from below the water and forms a deadly cloud. Because the gas is heavier than air, it pushes oxygen away from any area it envelops. This catastrophe took place on a massive scale in 1986 when the Lake Neos released a massive CO2 cloud which claimed the lives of 1,746 people and 3,500 livestock in the surrounding towns and villages. In an effort to prevent this disaster from repeating itself, a series of venting tubes were installed in 2001 with upgrades to the system in 2011. But these measures don't necessarily mean that nearby villages are entirely safe. One of the natural walls of Lake Neos is growing weaker and experts fear that the levee may give way. If this happened, the lake full of carbonic acid would flow downstream into villages and even as far as Nigeria, releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide along the way. Number 7. Burkina Faso So far, the majority of our entries have focused on places that are under constant threat from nature. However, our number 7 entry is a little bit different. Burkina Faso is a French-speaking country in West Africa. Unfortunately, the area has been plagued by years of conflict and violence, and today, a largely corrupt government struggles to hold off rampant terrorist assaults that constantly threaten all those who live in the area. Unfortunately, these attacks tend to be motivated more by greed than political ideology. And rather than targeting government establishments, terrorist groups from neighboring Mali and Niger often swarm public places like hotels, cafes, or restaurants. Unfortunately, these are all places where travelers would readily be found, and for that reason, you probably don't want to risk a visit to Burkina Faso anytime soon. If the constant threat of violence didn't make life hard enough for the locals, the country suffers from perilously low health and education funding, and according to the UN Development Program report, Burkina Faso has the lowest level of literacy in the world. Number 6. Karachi, Pakistan Another country which has suffered its fair share of terrorism and political unrest, Pakistan often appears on lists of travel advisories, but perhaps the most dangerous spot in the country is Karachi. This is according to the Numbi O Crime Index released in 2014. Karachi was the sixth most dangerous city in the world. During just one year in the mid-90s, over 1,700 people were slaughtered in a 365-day period. Alarmingly though, the highest number of Karachites killed in either acts of terror or crime was in 2013 when that number reached 3,251 total victims. Due to the prevalence of kidnapping, assassination, suicide bombings, and gang warfare, tourists are strongly urged to avoid Karachi. Number 5. Acapulco, Mexico Not so long ago, Acapulco was synonymous with lavish vacations and high-end resorts, but the reality these days can be a bit different. The city was one of Mexico's oldest beach resorts, and from the 1940s to the 60s, it was a hotspot for Hollywood stars and millionaires alike. But starting in 2014, the once glitzy destination became an epicenter for gang violence, extortion, and murder. In fact, by 2016, Acapulco has one of the highest murder rates in the entire world. The problem has reached such proportion that the city's entire police force was disarmed by the military in 2018 after it was discovered that it had been corrupted and infiltrated by drug gangs. Once a popular destination for spring break, the government began enacting travel advisories as early as 2009 after fighting erupted between drug cartels and the government. These battles often took place in the streets and involved grenades and other high-caliber weaponry. And since then, very little has improved. However, I suppose there is a silver lining. Other destinations such as Cancun and Cabo San Lucas have taken Acapulco's reputation as a tourist destination instead. Number 4. Sana'a, Yemen Sana'a is the capital of Yemen and holds the distinction of being the oldest continually inhabited city in the world. It's also the highest capital city in the world, resting at an astounding 7,500 feet above sea level. Sana'a was established so long ago that its origin is pretty much a matter of legend now, but many believe it was founded around the 1st or 2nd century BC. Its antiquity means that it is the site of many stunning historic buildings, including the Great Mosque of Sana'a, which was constructed in 630 AD and continues to be used today. Unfortunately, Sana'a is viewed by many as being a pure and utter war zone, and it pretty much is, actually. Living in the area means being subject to frequent and unpredictable acts of violence. Violence that goes well beyond street-level crime like robbery and extortion. Though, granted, both are also a major issue. 
and said citizens of Sana'a experience large-scale terrorism including violent public assassinations and frequent bombings. It's feared that as the violence continues, more and more lives will be lost and timeless architectural landmarks will be forever destroyed as well. Number 3. San Pedro Sula, Honduras For many decades, this bustling city with over a million residents was the economic center of Honduras, a status that was aided largely by banana exports to the United States. Unfortunately, in 1998, Honduras was leveled by Hurricane Mitch, which dropped an estimated 75 inches of rain and caused over $2 billion in damage. To this day, the once prosperous nation has never recovered, and more than 21 years later, the area is plagued by many familiar problems that accompany destitution and extreme poverty. Corruption in their local governments is a huge concern, and criminals are free to operate with a high degree of impunity, which has led the area to boast the world's highest homicide rate. Sadly, along with murder, violent sex crimes, and even more disturbing trends is present in the area. Due to the high level of corruption in the area, criminals are readily able to access police equipment that they use to set up checkpoints and roadblocks. Once law-abiding citizens stop their vehicles, the criminals drop the ruse and rob their victims, or even worse, abduct them. In fact, extortion is so common in the area that families of kidnapping victims often pay ransoms rather than risk contacting the authorities, who in most cases are openly corrupt. With a high rate of violence against locals and tourists alike, even the most experienced tourists are generally cautioned to avoid the area at all costs. Now it's time for the day's best pick. My pick for today may be one of the most famous renowned spots we've seen today, as well as maybe a little cliched, but let's be honest here. Number 2, the Bermuda Triangle, is pretty dangerous. Number 2. Situated in the heart of the North Atlantic, the Bermuda Triangle has captured our collective imagination for generations. The area is a vaguely defined expanse of the Atlantic Ocean that is situated between Puerto Rico, Florida, and Bermuda. Also known as Hurricane Alley or the Devil's Triangle, it has been the site of numerous mysterious disappearances, with the area being blamed for disappearing ships and aircrafts. Bizarre occurrences in the area have been blamed on everything from strange magnetic forces to alien activity. But through the lens of modern science, it's more widely assumed to be the result of erratic weather patterns than the supernatural. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try- And that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have videos that, that you would like to see me react to, please don't. Please write them on the comment section below. I will find the videos and I will do more reactions. Um, yeah, peace.